This is a magical zombie comic book that comes with a pair of 3D glasses. When you put on the glasses, the zombies from the comic come to life in the real world and start attacking the people they see. The story unfolds in a bookstore where Sarah is struggling to keep her business afloat due to the rise of online reading and smartphones. To make matters worse, the landlord demands an increase in rent at a time when the bookstore is on the verge of closing. If they don't comply, their lease will be terminated next month. With no other choice, Sarah decides to cut costs, considering letting go of Dawn, the only female clerk in the store. However, as Sarah's son Martin is in a romantic relationship with Dawn, Sarah discusses the matter with him first. Understanding his mother's predicament, the responsible Martin chooses family over romance and decides to personally break the news to Dawn. Though mentally prepared, seeing Dawn diligently cleaning the clutter in the cellar makes Martin hesitate. Just as he struggles to find the right words, Dawn accidentally drops a box with the inscription image 10 on it. Martin, realizing it might be a treasure, urges Dawn to open the box. To their surprise, it contains several zombie comic books. Being a seasoned zombie enthusiast, Martin is thrilled, especially since these comics are likely the unfinished works of the father of zombies, George Romero. The comics, never released in the market, could be quite valuable and might revive their struggling bookstore. This discovery could also mean that Dawn won't have to leave after all. However, at this moment, Dawn is surprised to discover that the last page of the comic includes a pair of 3D glasses. Martin takes the glasses with curiosity and puts them on. Unexpectedly, the zombie on the cover of the comic moves slightly, startling Martin. He quickly takes off the 3D glasses, finding it hard to believe how realistic the effect is. Excited, he rushes to find his mom, unaware that his recent action has brought something terrifying into reality. Meanwhile, Dawn, who remains in place organizing the comics, suddenly hears a strange sound. She turns around abruptly but sees nothing. Thinking it might be her imagination, she continues arranging the comics. Unbeknownst to her, the room's door is slowly opening, as if something is entering. At the same time, Martin has already handed the comic to Sarah, telling her that their bookstore is saved. However, Sarah dismisses it as an ordinary comic. When Martin takes out the glasses to show her the miracle, a customer in military attire walks in. Martin leads the customer to his favorite horror comics but, as he turns to leave, he hears a scream from the customer. Rushing back, he witnesses a bizarre and horrifying scene. The customer is suspended in midair in a strange pose, with a piece of flesh hanging from his neck. Martin is shocked to find that the scene exactly matches the comic. He quickly puts on the 3D glasses and sees a zombie gnawing on the customer. As he takes off the glasses, the zombie vanishes. It becomes evident that only with the 3D glasses can one see the zombies. Martin, frightened, retreats, and Sarah approaches. However, the customer is already dead, gruesomely bitten, and the zombie has disappeared. Sarah is bewildered, wondering what has happened. Just as Martin is about to call for help, he sees the zombie again through the 3D glasses. Before he can explain, the zombie lunges at them. In a hurry, he grabs his mother and takes refuge in the warehouse, blocking the door with a mop. The zombie bangs on the door, but Sarah, who can't see the zombie, thinks Martin is playing a prank to avoid firing Dawn. Martin has no choice but to explain that the zombies from the comic have come to life. However, Sarah finds the story unbelievable. Suddenly, the noises outside cease, and in the office, Dawn calls Martin. He quickly tells her what happened and asks her to lock the doors and wait for them. Dawn remains skeptical. However, before the conversation can progress, something unseen crashes into the office window. It's evident that a zombie is after Dawn. A piercing scream is heard. Martin, realizing the danger, wants to go help, but the warehouse door is stuck. In a moment of crisis, he thinks of the comic. Perhaps there's a way to end this. Flipping to the last page, Martin sees a portrait of the zombie creator. He quickly puts on the glasses, and with an eerie light illuminating the room, the creator of zombies appears before Martin. Recognizing the surroundings, Martin realizes they are in the former studio of the zombie creator. Meeting his idol for the first time, Martin is ecstatic and excitedly greets him. Meanwhile, Sarah is once again perplexed. Martin quickly hands her the glasses, and witnessing this magical scene, she finally believes her son's words. With the glasses back on, Martin hurriedly recounts what has happened and asks the zombie creator for a solution. However, the creator suggests the same method as in the movies, destroy the zombies' heads with various weapons. Just then, Dawn calls again. 
the zombies have breached the store, attacking her. In a panic, Martin accidentally opens the door and, along with Sarah, rushes to her rescue. However, when they arrive, they witness a ceiling fan decapitating the zombie. Dawn, still shaken, is unaware of what has transpired until Martin hands her the glasses. Only then does she see the fallen zombie. They think the crisis is over, but as Martin deals with the zombie's body, he suddenly realizes that the bitten customer is missing. They overlooked a severe problem, those bitten also turn into zombies. Reacting quickly, Martin puts on the glasses and discovers the infected customer has become a zombie, wandering aimlessly in the bookstore. Because this zombie is infected in reality, it can be seen without the glasses. What's more terrifying is that it spots another comic on the cashier's counter, also with a pair of glasses. This zombie is surprisingly intelligent. It decisively puts on the glasses, summoning more zombies from the comic. Now things are dire. The three quickly barricade the door, seeking advice again from the zombie creator, the one who drew the comics. At this moment, the zombie creator recalls the origins of this chaos. When the comics were incomplete, he sent the finished ones to the publisher, anticipating a good price for this unprecedented 3D comic. Unexpectedly, just before publication, the person making the 3D glasses decided to increase the price. Outraged at not getting the publisher's approval, the glasses maker, in a fit of anger, had his wizard uncle curse all the 3D glasses. Back then, it seemed like a scare tactic, but now it's evident that it was real. Suddenly, the wooden door is breached, and hordes of zombies flood in. In the chaos, Sarah is accidentally caught by a zombie, and Dawn is tackled to the ground by another. Martin attempts to save his mother, but to no avail, he can only watch her being dragged away. Fortunately, Dawn narrowly escapes being bitten, rescued by the zombie creator using a fire extinguisher. Seeing the situation spiraling out of control, the zombie creator thinks of a solution. Since these zombies emerged from the comics, perhaps writing a new plot to erase them all would end this nightmare. With a tentative hope, the zombie creator springs into action. Just then, as zombies attack Dawn again, the creator hastily writes the ending of the comic, destroying the glasses and the zombies. Surprisingly, it works. As Martin breaks the glasses, the zombie about to attack Dawn disappears into thin air. With the crisis averted, the zombie creator leaves contentedly. However, not long after, the detestable landlord arrives at the store, furious at the mess and demanding they leave immediately. Unexpectedly, just at that moment, the now mutated Sarah lunges at the landlord, biting into his arm. Even though the zombies from the comics are gone, the real-world mutated Sarah remains. It seems the zombie crisis is far from over, 